Welcome to Chat and Dish. I'm Casey Quadesti, and today I am going to be making for you lemon marinated salmon that we're going to serve with a salad of baby greens and a true French vinaigrette. Thinly slice the filet of salmon on the diagonal. You know, when I was little, I had a terrible sense of direction and I was always worried that I wouldn't find my way home after school and I learned that salmon migrate back to the place that they were born. I thought, oh my goodness, if I eat enough salmon, I'll for sure be able to find my way home. And guess what? It must have worked because I can find my way home. Now keep continuing uh, slicing your salmon until you have a plate that has got all your wonderful slices that are going side by side, not overlapping. Make sure that your salmon is well chilled before slicing. In fact, pop it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. Makes your slicing much easier. Top your salmon with the juice of one to two lemons, really depending on how juicy they are. But you want to have your salmon nicely coated with lemon juice. Oh, this smells so good. Drizzle with a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Sprinkle with a little bit of Bay de Rose. Grown mostly in Madagascar, they look like peppers, but they're not. They're very French and available in most gourmet food markets. I want you to cover this with cling film, pop it in the refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes so the lemon can work its magic. Our French vinaigrette starts off with two to three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Mince one shallot. Do make sure that it's finely minced. Add your shallots to the red wine vinegar and let the vinegar actually pickle your shallots for five to ten minutes. Add a sprinkling of fresh ground black pepper and about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Mix these together. Make sure that your salt is dissolved in your vinegar. Add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and whisk them together well. Now drizzle in olive oil and whisk until you have a nice consistency. Start off with about a quarter cup of olive oil. You want an extra virgin, nice fruity olive oil. Okay. Now, the most important part when you're making a French vinaigrette is to taste it. That's how these are made. So, a little finger tasting. Mmm, it's fabulous. I think it needs just a smidge more olive oil. At the very last minute, you're going to add your fresh herbs. Today, I'm using chives, but you could use fresh oregano or fresh thyme, whatever you like. Mix your chives in and your salad dressing is ready. I'm gonna go grab our baby greens. Drizzle a few tablespoons of your salad dressing around the outside of your bowl and it's time to toss. You know, start off with a little bit of dressing. Don't drown your greens in dressing. A French vinaigrette is made to be a light dressing. Now comes the fun part, putting it all together and then eating it. Ooh, start off with a nice serving of your greens. Don't hold back, they're absolutely fabulous. Top your salad greens with three slices of our lemon marinated salmon and we're ready to serve. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. I can't wait for you to try it. Let me know how you like it. Okay, first up, I want everyone to pop over to Jeanette's Healthy Living. Oh, she is showing us how to do a gumbo that's actually healthy. Now, I want to give you the name of the recipe right, so here it is. A healthier, gluten-free crayfish and crab gumbo. Looks absolutely over the top delicious. Can't wait to try it. Remember, Jeanette's Healthy Living. Don't miss out on her gumbo. Okay, now I'm ready for a little bit of dessert. So let's all pop over to Brew Crew Live. Meet Jocelyn because she is serving up, oh my goodness, I gotta say this right, coffee toffee popcorn munch. Oh, it looks absolutely fabulous. Great photograph, super easy to make by the way. I can't wait for all of us to have some together. So Brew Crew Live, definitely pop over for dessert. As always, thank you for visiting. Until next time, I'm going to miss you.